Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create your own line art brushes and how to save them for future use. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web, click OK. First, we need to bring up the Brushes panel. Go to Window and select Brushes. Let's move them to the side, change the stroke color to None and the fill color to black. Select the ellipse tool and let's draw a long and narrow ellipse. Press V on your keyboard for the selection tool, click on it, hold and drag it to the brushes panel, then release. Select the art brush from the new brush window and click OK. Name it whatever you want and change the method to Tints. This will allow you to change the color of the brush later. And click OK. Now you should see a new brush in the brushes panel. Let's test it. Click on the artboard to deselect, press the letter B on your keyboard for the paintbrush tool and draw a line. Press V for the selection tool and click on it to select it. You can change the color of it, the stroke weight. Let's undo it. Or the curves. Let's make another brush. Press V for the selection tool. Click on the ellipse and holding the Shift and the Alt key on your keyboard, move it down to copy it. Press A for the Direct Selection tool and click on the left anchor point. Then press the Delete key on your keyboard. Let's select these two anchor points and press and hold the left arrow key on your keyboard to make it longer. Then let it go. Select the new brush and move it to the brushes panel. Select the art brush and click OK. Change the name and choose Tints for the method. Click OK. And here is our second brush. Click to deselect and press the letter B for the paintbrush tool. Let's choose a different color and test the brush. Now we will make a brush with a round end. Let's change the stroke color to none and the fill color to black. Select the ellipse tool and holding the Shift and the Alt key on your keyboard, draw a small circle. Press the letter A for the Direct Selection tool and select the anchor point on the right. Click on it and holding the Shift key on your keyboard, move your mouse to the right. Then let it go. Let's move it to the Brushes panel. Select the art brush, click OK, rename it and select Tints for the method. Click OK, deselect, press B for the paintbrush tool again, change the color and let's test it again. Let's make one more brush. Change the fill color to black and the stroke color to none. Select the rectangle tool and draw a long and narrow rectangle. Next, go to the pen tool and select Add Anchor Point tool. Now we will add two anchor points in the middle, one on the top and one on the bottom. Go to the Direct Selection tool and select the anchor point on the top. 
Then press the down arrow key several times. Select the anchor point on the bottom and press the up arrow key several times as well. Let's zoom in. Select the convert anchor point tool. Click and hold the bottom anchor point. Press the shift key on your keyboard and move your mouse all the way to the end. This will give you a nice curve. Let's do the same with the top anchor point. Click and hold. Press the shift key and drag it to the right. Now let's move it to the brushes panel. Select the art brush, click OK, rename it and change the method to tints. Click OK. Zoom out. Deselect. Press B for the paintbrush tool and change the color. And let's test it. Now I will show you how to save these brushes for future use. Go to the Brushes Libraries menu and select Save Brushes. A new window will open and this is where your brushes will be saved. Let's change the file name and click Save. Now if you go and make a new document, you will need to bring up your saved brushes. Go to the Brushes Libraries menu again but this time scroll down to User Defined and you should see your brushes. Move them to the side and start drawing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.